The Waianae community is still reeling from yet another tragic shooting that left four people dead and two others injured. We're learning more about what led up to the violence Saturday night in a dispute between neighbors. Jill Kuramoto reports from Waianae. The front loader still in the home, a stark reminder of the violence that took place here just 36 hours earlier. The tire tracks on this section of Waianae Valley Road by a Quonset hut nicknamed the Silva Dome tell the story of where the problems between neighbors stem from. So the people who live here had a complaint with these guys speeding who was renting out that dome, speeding up and down. So a few of them went down there to talk to the individuals who was hosting that party. Please, you know, get kids playing around. And whatever happened in between that space, then Hiram came out with his loader and did what he did to the family. The chair of the neighborhood board and family friend identified Hiram Silva as a property owner who had run-ins with area residents before, but was never known to be physically violent. So he would shoot his gun? Yes. He would make, you know, noises, point, shine his spotlight around the neighborhood, around the property, but he never came out and says, I'm going to kill you guys, I'm going to do this to you guys. Honolulu police say shortly after 11 Saturday night, three people were killed when Silva used a front loader to ram cars and opened fire on a gathering on the Kiamo family property. Two others were rushed to the hospital in critical condition. The 42-year-old resident who allegedly shot and killed Silva was arrested for second-degree murder. He was released pending further investigation. Ganaban says the family now is living in fear of retaliation and had asked for police presence in this neighborhood. We had one of the mayor's uh, representative um, email the, um, Joe Logan yesterday. He said they, they increased the um, law enforcement on the area, but they couldn't put anybody here. According to the neighborhood board chair, the family has asked for a ho'oponopono session so that both families can try and heal. When that will happen has yet to be determined. In Waianae, Joe Kuramoto, KHO2 News, working for Hawaii.